I am from one of the beautiful places called Akka, Palestine, known for their centuries of planted olive trees that taste of bittersweet home. And although I've never visited the land of my people, my footsteps are carved for me by my grandparents that were forced to flee what is now the home of the orphans, home of the widows and the displaced, is also known to be home of the courageous. I hear the gentle sounds of bombs dropping, the sweet smells of tear gas canisters opening, the rose red colored pool of blood beneath them, bullet wings flying as their heads are bowed down in their place of worship, the soft screams of a father feeling his loved one's pulse slowly diminishing, the tender kiss of a mother's lips on the cheek of her unmoving newborn baby, the soft utterance of last words spoken, the smiles they give as they walk away with their hands knotted, they try to pull out centuries of deeply fixed roots that have made their way to every inch of the world, so much so that there are hundreds of thousands of first and second generation children of immigrants whose blood boils for their land even if they haven't stepped foot into it. So raise your hands knowing there's a difference in the act small yet so very significant know for sure that your prayers will be answered have certainty that he's listening that your pleas will be heard your tears will be seen and when the world turns their back on you because they will and they have know that he won't because when you're too drained to speak, speak through your soul. And when you feel voiceless, turn to him and speak, not through your lips, but through your silence. Because he knows the depths of your heart, the secrets of your soul, the state of yourself. So as you lay your head down to sleep, wrap yourself in the words of your Lord, sheltering you from the world, bringing you comfort, and peace. Be at ease in knowing that the Creator is greater than the creation that He is ever so near. Be at ease in the fact that your Lord never forgets. If there is no justice in this world, there will be in the next.